Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia! Bring the popcorn today, viewers, because today we have plot. Well, more than usual. But, uh, anyway, I'm just going to skip past all these enemies, because I'm actually a little higher level than I usually am at this point, so I don't want to get too over-leveled for you guys. I mean, okay, I'm already pretty well over-leveled, but you know what I mean. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Remember, we I tried going up there before, but plot wall wouldn't let me go there. But now we can. All right. I think I'm going to try and take the shortcut over there with explosives. Where is that barrel around? Ah, there it is. Whoa. I don't want to fight you, man. Besides, I don't want to have to edit out another battle. Or I don't want to have to edit out anything in this episode. We got plot today. Hope you brought the popcorn, viewers. Man, if you're bringing popcorn for every episode that has this much plot, you probably put on a few pounds with this LP, huh? I, mean, I don't mean to insult anyone, I'm just kidding. But anyway, alright. Kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, how uh, the clouds would disappear whenever you go to a new area. Well, first thing, let's find some hidden treasure. The savory veggies. We needed that for that one quest that I showed you before, where we got the, uh, the... We killed the pig for the meat. Sounds vulgar. Yeah, it does look like a nice place, and I've only been here for, uh, about five seconds. How's it going? You're the only farmer around here anyway. I'm going to assume that the farm is, uh, bigger than it looks there. How do they get so many vegetables with just such a tiny farm? Well, there we go. So anyway, we can advance that side quest. Oh, by the way, that one side quest we did I did yesterday with Aruka there, that, uh, completing that side quest will unlock more of the ending, just so you know. And over here, we get the Sleep Gas Scroll. Uh, it teaches Marco the Sleep Gas ability. So it's kind of like Sleep Break, but it hits multiple enemies. So that can be pretty nice, but we're not at a convenient travel node now. So I'm going to save that for later. It, that's yeah, okay. Not too many enemies are susceptible to sleep or status ailments in general. Well, of course we're paranoid. Everyone's always trying to kill us. Oh, I love Wayun. I like a lot of the characters in Deep Space Nine. Not so much in Voyager. I mean, that was okay, but uh, they just didn't have the character interactions that I liked. Eh, maybe it was just me. Oh, really? They keep on talking about this Scala village. Hmm. Now, I am pronouncing Scala correctly this time, right, viewers? Oh, ho, 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 ho. But anyway, if you go around here... Uh, where is it? Okay, I know there's something around here. Ha-ha! There we go. Yeah. They hide that one on you. Oh, I thought you were a historian studying farming. Nah, nah. A historian studying history. Historia? Let's find out. Oh, nuts. Well, I was able to get in there pretty easily, actually. Right next to the jail cell. Kind of seems like an odd place to put the library. But, well, I guess I gotta give the prisoners something to do. Well, let's see what's in here. Nothing! What is that thing on the left of that house, anyway? Well, ah, whatever. What do they got? A barrel of explosives next to your uh, item shop. Maybe it's for sale. But yeah, I do like this place, and it's so tiny. It's amazing how much... I, I don't know, how much I love this village, considering how small it is. Ah, there's something to use the explosives on. I'm not going to blow up your house, I just want to uh, blow up the rocks. That's all. Boom! Over here, we get another secret treasure! Sprig ring. I think that boosts HP and MP, if I recall correctly. Okay, well, anyway, uh, part of the reason why we came here, we want to get some new equipment. Why they have better equipment here than Grenorg, I don't know. We want to get the dagger for Ott there. We also want to buy a gun for, well, extra security. You never know. Uh, let's see, we also want to get a rune dress. Get something rainy nice to look in. 
No, she can't equip it. But we do want to get four runic mail. So I want to get one for everyone. Mostly just to get rid of the speed handicap of the heavy mail. And we want to purchase an extra one for later. For Raj on the other timeline. No new items that I'm really interested in there. Maybe some debuffing stuff, but uh, nothing that I particularly care for. If you're new to the game and you're much lower level than I am, well, they might be useful for you. Well, of course he is. He's just a kid. Didn't they tell you? For how long? What do we need to hide for? We're spies. Huh? What? Yeah, you, you shaved recently? Oh. Well, I'm sure that's, there, there's no hidden meaning behind that or, or anything like that. Well, we're not abandoning our mission. We're just delaying it. That's all. You get to sleep in a house with uh, no beds. Well, we did talk to that historian earlier. Well, that's a rather long time for a historian to be doing research. Sure, why not? Not that I fought any monsters on the way here, and even the uh, red shirt lived. Well, not the other guy, but... Not uh, Kiel, but... Now, what is that thing on the left there? Is that like a well or something? Or... I, I don't know. I have no idea what that is. So they put us in a house with a well. That's great. Didn't we say that earlier? Okay, how's it going? Ooh, were we just sleeping on the hay here? Well, didn't, didn't we already know that? Oh, well, I thought we knew about Pratea, but not the ritual. Well, yeah, that would be a good idea. Oh, well, okay. Pay no attention to that, viewers. Hmm? No, what, what do you mean by that? Oh, well, apparently so. Just a case of mistaken identity. Happens all the time. Maybe from another timeline. Of course! It's not like they could possibly know me. Maybe I came here from the future one time and I never knew. I don't know about that. I don't know. How would they know about that? Well, apparently they're uh, not really taking Aruka seriously. Why don't you just kill her, then? Ah, uh, the people do kind of like her. Uh, set what ablaze? Well, where are you going to get your taxes from, then? You got to have people to worship you. Nuts. That seems a little extreme. Okay, how's it going? Burn the witches! That would be rather uh, self-defeating, wouldn't it? I mean, don't you have the war and everything? I mean... Yeah, I mean, everyone kind of lives there. Oh, what do you mean by that? Wouldn't that warn the resistance that you're going to set a fl a, fl a blaze? A fire? Aren't you the one who's really in charge? I thought she was just like a, a puppet figure or something. I mean, if you don't want to set your city on fire... It doesn't exactly sound like the best plan.
Well, yeah, we kind of already figured that out. She has the nice purple clothes. Well, she doesn't seem vulgar to me. And what is your purpose? Oh, right, I know. I was like... <laughs> I just like that line. I have to set my own city on fire! <laughs> oh, that's... I suppose I shouldn't be laughing at that, but... I, I don't know. For some reason, that seems amusing to me. But I just like how there's actual character development for the villains. They're not just completely mad evil. Well, okay, uh... Uh, uh, Protea is, but, I mean, Diaz and Salvan seem like they almost actually care about the people. I mean, they care about their own power, but they need people to worship them, at least. They're not completely stupid. Yeah, that is true. We could just go pack up our bags and go home and tell Heist, Hey, uh, sorry, mission didn't, uh, work out so well. Oh, yeah. Well, well, we're not betraying them. We're just... I mean, it's not like she's working against the... Working against Alistair. Yeah, it's kind of pointless to uh, kill them if you're going to die yourself anyway. Yeah, it's not like they're going to drag this out for the entire game. What do you mean? Less party members? I don't want to trade Rainy for Aruka. Rainy looks cuter in the blue dress anyway. Well, okay, you don't, you don't think about things and uh, let the world come to an end. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did kind of help us out. Yeah, you haven't given us any motivation at all. What, we're going to actually have character motivation for someone other than the protagonist? What a concept! Yeah, I was just supposed to be your partner who actually, you know, didn't act, didn't matter in the plot. But, uh, well, apparently Historia seems to think otherwise. I can't hear this music without thinking about Kiel. I still love this music, though. Well, we kind of need more land to survive. And they keep on pointing swords at us. That, that would be a pretty good reason. Although we do have the thaw machines now. Well, maybe not in this timeline. Because, uh, yeah, we're not helping them out, are we? wonder how Alistair is doing in this timeline. Hmm. Okay, sure, why not? Less party members! Well, that's it. We're splitting up now. Well, Marco seems pretty determined. At least we still got the healer. Stock can do the magic and the DPS. I like using Stock for magic, really, in this game. It's kind of the opposite of Final Fantasy XIII, where magic in this game seems to really deal a lot more damage with magic boosting stuff than physical attacks do. Maybe it's because enemies have a lot more physical defense in this game. I don't know. Oh. Well, he doesn't look so well. What's going on? So, heal him? She's gone mad! Nuts. Well, he's not quite dead yet, Marco. Heal him. Or you could just stand there and let him die. Maybe this was... This is what Heist wanted us to do all along. I mean, he gave us the White Chronicle. 
He told, well, we don't even know if he was the one who told us to assassinate her. It could have just been, uh, you know, an, an, well, the enemy spy who tried to get us captured to begin with. Could have been a double agent. But we don't know where that guy is now. I mean, he did want us to learn the truth of the continent. So, maybe this is what he really wanted us to do after all. But he just didn't, he couldn't tell us while we were back in Alistair. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, we don't have Rainy anymore, so, uh, well, just the two of us. Oh, God, now I got that song stuck in my head after listening, it, listening to it every day at the grocery store for four years. Oh, thank goodness I uh, don't have to listen to that music anymore. Now you guys working at grocery stores have to listen to Christmas carols all day long. I mean, hey, I like Christmas songs as much as the next guy, but, uh... Hey, there's, uh, a limit to everything. Well, we're not going to be working directly against them. Technically, we'd be helping them. We'd be eliminating the Queen. Who's there? Hey, hey! Victory music! More party members! Yay! Ah, uh, this music always lifts my spirits. Yeah, that is true. Well, it's about time you made some sense. Okay, we'll pretend we're double-crossing them and betraying them if that makes you feel better. Technically, we'd just be MIA. They wouldn't even know where we are. Well, I suppose they would think we're at Grenorg, but, well, I don't know where we're going to be going next. Yeah, I don't want to have to be responsible for you guys anymore. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to all be partners in, together in this mission. Marco and I can heal. You handle the DPS, Rainy. That'll be good. Thanks. But can we save Princess Aruka back at Grenorg? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.